Okay, just entered another abandoned mine. Uh, it's going down on a slight incline here in front of me. And uh, you can see all the, uh, what they call bacon strips. That's metal bracing that's put in for support. And uh, a lot of support was needed in here. That's looking back towards the portal. And, uh, but yeah, look at all this metal bracing. Starting to smell that hydraulic smell. Yeah. So coming down here in the mine, here's a discarded bag of of uh, of blasting agent. Uh, what's the name? So we're still heading downward, coming through another section where they've added the uh, bracing for support, just in the arch. Looks like there's a junction here, maybe. Tunnel to the right, and a tunnel to the left. So this is the tunnel to the right. Looks like a, some kind of tarp or cloth. Got a rope across here. Probably to keep people from going in here. This looks like a pretty, pretty collapsed and dangerous area. That's pretty ominous Let's go there. check it out. So yeah, we're in a, a stope here. It goes way up there. And uh, looks like all of this collapse right here where my light is might have came from right up there in that little cutout section. That's why they put the bracing in. Same thing on this side. You can just see above me here how this is just waiting, waiting to slide off, you know, slough off. Probably not a good place to be standing. So let's get past this and see what's down here. Yeah, you can see all the, these bolts. This is what goes through the, the metal strapping. And these bolts can be, you know, really long. These ones look to be about five feet in length, but I've heard in some mines they can go in for like 12 feet maybe, if not more. So it just, just depends on the nature of the rock that they're drilling through. So yeah, this is a, this is a dangerous area. Check this out. Look how the, the boulder, the bolt is still in the boulder and the strapping is bent where it fell down from up there. See that? That's pretty crazy. And the tunnel wraps around here to the right. So here we're approaching a junction, but that's just a dead end. So we'll keep going down this way. So continuing downward, less strapping here, you can see. So they must have felt this part of the uh, mine wasn't as unstable as that first part was. Looks like Justin is at the uh, edge of a stoop. So the tunnel continues right over there, but 
we can't get over there because of this stope that's in between us and it. You can see how, how high up that goes. And all these rock bolts that have come out here in the stope. And right across the way, there's a cool little patch. See that? Where there's just like dirt and a lot of small rocks right in that, in that little area right there. And then nothing below that. That's interesting. Kind of hidden behind that white pink rock is all that dirt and smaller rocks. And this goes way down. It's pretty deep. So, but yeah, strapping. Dangerous. This is what's right above me. So we just came from that right branching tunnel. Now we're taking the left. The left branching tunnel, which looks like it also has a little bit of sketchiness here with the bracing that's come undone and the rock bolts that are coming out that's holding the bracing in place. But uh, not as bad as that tunnel we just were in, that other, that other branch. And there's something up here. Looks like a big pipe or something. Let's go check it out. So this was a ventilation fan. There's a fan inside, I don't know if you can see it, but that was used to pump air down to this lower level. You see a winds here with a ladder, so they were pumping air or ventilation down into the lower area. And um, yeah, this splits here, goes that way and then this upper tunnel. But we'll check out the lower, the lower tunnel first. I think it's a dead end. Oh no, that leads into a, uh, another area. So here's a, up close to this ventilation pipe going down. Yeah, this is a false floor right here where the winds is. You really gotta be careful about these because they can cover them up with tarp and dirt like this. And the wood that's underneath could be rotten and you step on it and it breaks. So, and down there's a, a white door and a little tunnel way up there. So this door right here you see laying on the ground, that used to cover the winds that's right there. And a winds is a small passageway in a mine tunnel, usually in the floor, that goes down to a lower level. And they usually have a ladder, like that one does. And it's just a small opening that leads down to a lower area. And that's what a winds is. So here's a big white door that looks like it leads into uh, a, uh, plat uh, a landing station for a vertical shaft. It's daylight there. That's the collar of the shaft. Just a little crack. Yep, vertical shaft. There it goes up. Got the ladder. And the caging. This goes down 975 feet. Yep, that's deep. So this ladder would take you to the surface, but if you go down, you can see on the other side there where Justin's lights are, it lights up the shaft and it goes down almost a thousand feet. So pretty deep. And we're not going to climb down there. It's, <laughs> no, it's, it's almost, no, sir. It's almost vertical. We don't have climbing gear. So. Maybe next time. But looking up, you should be able to see daylight. Shoot. Oh, yeah, I see daylight up there. Might not be coming out in the video, but yeah. We're about 200 feet down, it looks like. Something like that. And over there is where the cart would have gone up on those rails behind the chain link fence. So that's a shot, best I can do, looking down the shaft. There's about... 900 feet below us here, so it's pretty deep. But yeah, we wouldn't want to fall in there. That's why they have this safety chain right here. But as if that's going to stop somebody from falling in. And this is the manway that parallels the shaft. That's what the miners would use to go up and down. And that's a shot looking down. So continuing down the tunnel, looks like there's a collapse here. 
that probably fell from that darker colored area. See that? These rocks, this rock pile was probably up there. Hope nobody's underneath that. That's probably a spot they should have put the bacon strips on, the metal strapping. But they didn't and it failed. So I'm standing underneath another double ore chute. You can see the chute there on the right and then one right here on the left. And then again, there's another manway ladder in there with a chute for the miners to haul their tools up and down. And what's kind of rare about this is, or unique, is there's a, a signal control there for the bell. Um, one bell was stop, two bells meant something was coming down the chute, and three bells meant something was coming up. So that's kind of cool. Got some rock fall here. And a lot more uh, support bracing, so. But some of it's, some of the rocks have fallen. So we'll get over this little collapse. And, uh, Keep heading down. Something here on the left. Looks like they plugged up. They plugged up an opening into the stope, maybe. See, there's two sets of wooden planks up there. They're perpendicular to each other. So they really plugged that up with massive timbers. And uh, here's looking back at what we just came through. Some pipes going through some collapse there. Yeah, so we're on the other side of the shaft. Here's a big tank. And I... I have no idea what this is. It looks like it used to be an ore chute. It's since uh, collapsed. 